The Steamers Loop is one of the premier multi-day hikes of the main range in southeast Queensland. Spanning through the Steamers, Lizard Point, the rainforest of Mount Superbus and the Lincoln Wreck, this hike offers some incredible views and wild country. I'm here with uh, Lucas Chamberlain and we're starting the Steamers Loop. Uh, expecting uh, two nights out, uh, should be a lot of fun, so yeah, let's alright, let's do it. Rugged remote area. So yeah, Lucas and I are just on the Razorback that extends out from the edge of the funnel and we've got pretty awesome views out to uh, the edge of Superbus, which is southeast Queensland's highest mountain. So uh, we're just going to go a bit further across the Razorback so we can get a view of the Prowl. So. Just walking along the edge of the funnel now. Yep. Pretty awesome cliffs beside us as we are just traverse under the slopes. So really enjoyable walking through here. It's really nice. Pretty Made it back to the stern lookout in the steamers. It's been about four years since I've been here, so it's just bloody good to be back, I tell you that. Such an iconic view in southeast Queensland. Just incredible. Just on the top of our Mount Steamer now. Very nice. First time up here. It was a bit of a bit of a tiring climb, a good 100 meter up. So it's good to get up here though, and just enjoy these views. We're on the final leg of today now. We've just got this steep descent along the ridge, another climb, and then we should be at Lizard Point. So, yeah. Alright, I think we're finished for the main ascent of the day. Just having a nice lay down in the grass here. I'm enjoying this view. Yeah, it's been a hard day. I've been uh, walking for seven hours now. Pretty much 13 k's, so 400 meters from Lizard Point, we're almost there. We finally made it to Lizard Point. Just absolutely gorgeous. 
definitely got to be one of Southeast Queensland's best views. It's hard to beat. But yeah. It's so beautiful. Not long now, probably got about 10 minutes before the sun goes behind the mountain peaks, but it's actually looking pretty beautiful. There's a nice thin layer of smoke going over the main range over there, which is actually pretty stunning. So. Always love catching the sunset and the sunrise, just such a beautiful part of life. How good is this? Just sitting here, cooking some dinner, having a chat. Nice temperature. Can't go wrong. <laughs> yeah, it's beautiful. Alrighty, it's time to go to sleep. So, see you bright and early for sunrise. Good night. There we go. She's risen. Good morning, world. And yeah, just, it's bloody beautiful. It's quite a nice sunrise. It's got a really nice glow to it, but um, there's not a lot of cloud factor, but there is some nice fog and smoke in the valleys, which is quite a, Nice sight, so. Oh yeah, always beautiful. I'm gonna have some breakfast now and then uh, probably head back to the tent, have a bit of a nap before we uh, start the four hour hike over to Superba South, so. Alright, it's time to go. Catch you later, Lizard South, so on the way to some purpose. And that's the summit of Mount Roberts at 1331 metres. Right, we just made it to the Steemans Valley Lookout. Great views back over to what we are climbing over yesterday. So you can see in the background, you've got the prow, the funnel, the mast and the stern. Pretty nice and uh, it looks like a lot of the smoke in this valley is cleared because it was really, really hazy this morning, so. Oh, the logbook on Superbus. Uh, I, was, I was here two years ago, so. Oh, there we are, Aaron Gray, 17th of the 4th, 21, YouTube. Yeah. So yeah, we made it to our South Superbus campsite. We just had a bit of a discussion, it's only 1.41. And to get back down to the car, we've got another roughly 6Ks and 600 metres of descent. So we've got all the food and gear to stay another night. So I think we're just gonna relax, chill the night, and then uh, head down early tomorrow morning back to the car. So why not? Well, like, we're out here. Let's make the most of it, so. So yeah, I carried seven litres in for the whole trip for the two nights. And I'm pretty much down to my last liter. That's my rations for the rest of the day. Oh yeah, 
pretty hungry, so I'm gonna enjoy myself a nice hot cup of noodles. Oh, that hits the spot. Well, I'm way into the last rations of water now. Yep. It's gonna be a thirsty night, I think, but enjoy this hot chocolate for now. Good morning to you all. Slept really well. Uh, woke up beautiful, clear morning. Absolutely no condensation in the tent, which is always a, a plus. And um, yeah, we'll probably get packing up soon and get going. So, got a fair decent way back to the car today. So. Yeah, it's time to go. See you later, South Superbus. Till next time. So yeah, I made it back down to the Lincoln Bomber. Such a sad and tragic story where four RAF members were transporting a sick child from um, Townsville to Eagle Farm. And unfortunately in 1955, they crashed here and lost their lives. So um, if you haven't seen my other video on the Lincoln wreck, make sure you click up here. But yeah, it's such an incredible sight to see and so much of the aircraft left here. It's just amazing. Anyway, better keep going. I'm so thirsty and we just hit the uh, the only water source on the trip on the final leg out but I'm so keen to have a drink Ah, oh, fresh water So yeah, we're getting towards the road now in the lower sections of the descent. And yeah, lots of gimpy gimpy around now. As you can see, I'm surrounded by it. But um, it's a lot easier walking now than what it was earlier. Really steep coming down from the wreck. So yeah, my shoes are finally broken and uh, the sole's coming off. So I think it's time to uh, change into my sandals. Alrighty, so we made it back to the car. That was a really enjoyable three-day loop up through the steamers, Superbus and the Lincoln Wreck. Just want to give a big shout out to uh, Lucas Chamberlain here for following me, following me on the journey. And if you haven't checked out his channel, uh, I'll leave a description uh, below. So yeah, anyway, thanks for watching and I'll catch you on the next one. See ya.